Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the order of operations. And for this video, we will use the PEMDAS. We have here four different examples, A, B, D, and E, wherein we will try to do order of operations and simplify these expressions using PEMDAS. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In number one, or the first example, which is letter A, we have 12 minus 8 divided by 4 plus 25 times 3. So, pag sinabi natin PEMDAS, this is parenthesis, exponent, parenthesis first, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Clarify lang natin guys ha. When you encounter multiplication and division, baka isipin nyo agad na dapat mauna si multiplication. Hindi. Ang case dito, pwede mag-interchange yung Kung sino mauna, it's either multiplication or division. Pero sir, ano pa yung magiging basis natin? So, look at this example. In example letter A, we have 8 divided by 4 and 25 times 3. Kung susundin natin ito, magkakamali tayo. So, since nauna si division sa left side, since nasa left side si division symbol, ibig sabihin, we will do first division. At ayun ang first step natin dito. Okay? First step natin is to divide 8 by 4. So that is 12, copy natin, minus 8 divided by 4, that is equal to 2, plus 25 times 3. So as you can see, we are done with the division. Next naman natin is multiplication. Again, nakadepende yan kung sino yung nasa left side. Since nasa left side kanina si division, we started with division. Next, ito naman na tayo. We have 12 minus 2, copy natin yan, and then we will multiply 25 times 3, and that is plus 75. Ito na ngayon yung next natin. Sir, kung pwedeng mag-interchange ang multiplication and division, pwede rin po ba ang addition at subtraction? Yes. Depende kung sino yun sa left side. Dito, mauna sa subtraction. So we will subtract 12 and 2, and that is 10 plus 75. And lastly, we will add 10 and 75. This is 85. And this is the final for letter E. Now let's move on with letter D. Sa letter D na tayo, guys, kung mapansin nyo, wala tayong letter C. <laughs> wala tayong letter C. Pusin tayo. Dito naman, we have 2 cubed minus 8 divided by 4 times 2 plus 7. Wala tayong doubt na dapat natin unahin si 2 cubed kasi exponent. So, ang 2 cubed natin is equal to 8. Sir, uh, bakit po naging 8? Marami rin hindi nakakuha kung bakit naging 8 yan. So, discuss lang natin dito guys. Yung 2 cubed natin guys is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. And then copy natin to guys, ha? Copy natin to different parts natin, which have minus 8 divided by 4 times 2 plus 7. Ito na naman, guys. Baka makonfuse na naman kayo. Divide before multi multiply. Ito muna unahin natin. So it will become 8 minus 8 divided by 4, which is 2, Okay? Copy natin times 2 plus 7. So, tatlong operations na lang tayo. Ito muna unahin natin. Multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. So, this is 4. 8 minus 4 plus 7. So, dito, sa isa pa rin natin guys para masanay kayo. Subtraction muna tayo, which is 8 minus 4. That is 4 plus 7. And that will give us the answer of 11. Ito ngayon yung answer natin for letter D. Okay? So, yung letter A sa kadin natin are basic examples of using PEMDAS. Napunta natin yung letter B and letter E natin. Medyo mahirap siya ng konti. Okay? So, which, let's have letter B. Sa letter B, anong unahin natin? Siyempre, di ba ang PEMDAS natin, it starts with the parentheses. So, mayroon tayo itong parentheses. So, we will do this, this one first. Copy natin. This is 10. 
minus 3 times 6 plus 10 squared plus 7 times 4. Okay? Yes, sir. Ano na po next natin? Ang next natin, guys, ay yung itong exponent. Meron tayong 10 squared, which is equal to 100. So, copy natin to guys. This is 10 minus 3 times 6 plus 100 plus 7 times 4. Pinapakita ko lang sa inyo step-by-step -step process para masanay tayo guys. Ha? Next naman natin ay yung multiplication. Ito, pwede natin ang multiply to guys. Okay? Yung 7 times 4. Tingnan natin mabuti ha. 7 times 4. Tapos, itong 3 times 6. Ito ngayon ay magiging 10. 3 minus 6. 3 times 6 is negative 18 plus 100 plus yung 7 times 4 natin is 28. Actually, pwede nyo na itong gawin ng, ano, ng straight lang para hindi kayo mapag-consume ng masyadong oras. Pero unahin natin yung ano, from left to right ulit tayo. Ha. Ito, itong part na to, okay, this is negative 8. Ito naman dalawang to, this is plus 128. Now, kapag in natin, yung negative 8 and 128, that is equal to 120. Positive yung answer natin, guys. Okay? So, medyo mahaba siya kasi yun yung tinti natin. Pero yung ibang sanay na sa PEM, paggamit ng PEMDAS, kaya na lang i-shorten yung kanilang solution. Nag-skip tayo ng isang part, guys. Now, let's move on with letter E. For letter E, sir, ano pong unahin natin? We will start first with this parenthesis. Okay? So, magiging sagot natin dito, guys, ay 11 plus 1, that is 12, minus 4, that would give us the answer of 8. Tapos, in-close natin by parenthesis. Tapos, meron po tayong kukopya yung 6, and then, ito at ito. Kopya natin sa labas, plus 3. Dito naman, divided by 8 times 2. Sir, ano, ano pong next natin? Ito pa rin tayo, guys. Ito na sa loob na to. Yung grouping symbols natin. This is equal to, what? 48. Tapos, dito may plus 3 tayo. Okay? Divided by 8 times 2. Obviously, ito na next natin. Okay? Ang 48 divided by 8 natin is 6. So, this is 6. Tapos, plus 3. Then, times 2. So, ito, ito next natin. This is 12. Then, plus 3. And 12 plus 3 or 3 plus 12, that is equal to 15. So, yun yung maging sagot natin for letter E, guys. So, I hope na sa mismong 8-minute video natin or 9-minute video natin, ay natuto kayo on how to do order of operations using the PEMDAS rule. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!